Hi, um, Happy New Year, members of the City Council. Congratulations on your re-election, Mayor, and congratulations on your positions in this city and this community. My name is Mary Eng. I want to especially thank the Police Department for the support they give us on a daily basis, the risk they put on their own lives to make sure we're safe. I want to thank the veterans for being here. This is quite a surprise. I'm really happy that the Legion is here as well. And I have copies of a letter I would like to share with the board. Um, I've got eight copies, one for everyone, as well as staff, um, regarding an unfortunate situation with a Me Too issue regarding sexual harassment and a violent assault I endured. Fortunately, I was able to run into Ron Brown and uh, look him eye to eye and he wanted a meeting with me. And I think um, one thing I saw in my victim's compensation brochure is that the district attorney's office gets slammed with 2,000 criminal complaints. Many of those may be valid. They have limited resources. So I, continue, I urge you to continue to support law enforcement, support the district attorney, and support the development of victim's assistance. One of my feelings as a victim of a violent crime is that sometimes a lot of assumptions are made about victims based on their background or their gender and that we need more appropriate resources so that when issues of harassment or assault arise there are victim sensitive intake processes. One of the hurdles I've found is that I need to speak to the male director and the male subdirector and the male victim's assistance guy and the male DA and the male detective. And as a female, I want you guys to know about who I am. I don't want to be a professional victim. I have a lot of other qualities that I would like to share. But until I get some resolution, I will keep banging on that door. But as you will see when you read this letter, I'm being threatened with legal action for whistleblowing an issue that I believe arises to a very serious threat to the safety of adults and senior citizens, as well as women, as well as teenagers, or anybody who may be utilizing the park facility. So um, I want healing to occur for all people involved in this. I think um, you, it's sort of like you don't know what you've got till you get there. And I think this has put a lot of people through stress and distress was a word that Skylar Archibald used, is that it has been distressing. And for those uh, employees and volunteers who continue to serve their community, I want them to know I have never sought to disparage their work, but I want to stand there for them because I don't want what happened to me to happen to anyone. And I don't want anyone to have to undergo the psychological turmoil I experienced when a person of power and position in this city sexually assaulted me, caused me to fear rape and death and murder, and that then I felt that nobody would believe me because that person had power and education Mary, you have 30 seconds. and great qualities. Well, um, thank you for being here, and thank you for everyone who has to contribute to this uh, community. Your voices are important. Your voices need to be heard, and maybe it's about finding the right venue and the right ears. So thank you for your kindness to me. Before you leave, would you give us your address? Oh, um, yeah, for mailing purposes, box 852, and I'm w awaiting an application for an apartment on holiday. Thank you very okay, much. thank you.